Well, here we are with uh, Solarium on the and the computer. Uh, I just rigged it up today, and it's uh, communicating with uh, the Sky Watcher Quattro scope sitting there. Um, currently, we've got it. Uh, it's not actually on Mars. I uh, just got a simulation going here. Um, so if I move the cursor over here uh, to Saturn. I'll probably show you some good travel on the scope. So it's uh, control one and everything starts moving. Nice and smoothly on the NEQ, sorry, the HEQ6 mount. And, uh, you can hear it's quite silent as well. Uh, I think the skies are going to clear up a little bit in a little while, so I've got a proper trial on this. And uh, I haven't got the guide scope on yet. A lot of work to do, just arrived, and we're just getting it configured. So you can see the scope is coming down, you can see the line mark for the scope and that's just arrived on Saturn. Uh, I'll just show you again in Solarium how it works. Uh, if I click on that globular cluster up there, that's M53. Again, I'll do uh, control 1 and you can see that's showing you the track of the mount as it goes up to the next point. It's on M53 and there's a nebula here in the sky tonight. Uh, that's an open cluster. M65, 67 sorry. And control one again. And the quarter was there, it goes up off the scale because it's, it's rotating right round. And as it comes down, it should start to come into sight again. And selenium, I could. Uh, Move, move the screen, uh, the view, of the, the relative view of the sky, but you can see the quattro coming down again here, and that's looking on M67 there. Really neat software. This uh, that's uh, through EQ Mod linked into Stellarium, and. Uh, with Stellarium Scope and it's all working great. Very pleased with it. 